everyone. Welcome to the Tampa Girl Scout store. My name is Chelsea and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your junior ready for her journey in juniors. So to begin, we have two different types of the junior uniform. We have the sash, which comes in regular and extra long. And then we have the vest that comes in a few different sizes. We have medium, which is a 1012, large, which is a 1416, extra large, which is an 1820, and then extra large, oh sorry, extra extra large, which is a 20 and a half and a 22 and a half. All right. So next, let's talk about everything that you're going to need to put on your junior's vest at the beginning of the year. So to start, you're going to need the American flag, and this will go on the top right shoulder of your daughter's vest. Next, you have the council ID. So juniors through ambassadors will now have this white council ID and it will go underneath the flag. Next, some troops may have it, some troops may not, but underneath the council ID, you will have your troop crest. And this is just something that you can use to have meaning for your troop resembled on your vest. And again, that goes underneath your council ID. Up next, we have your troop numbers. So again, from juniors all the way through ambassadors, we'll have green troop numbers and those will go underneath the troop crest. So normally troops have five numbers, but they drop that first number because it only shows you what area you're in. And then if that number following the first one has a zero, most troops drop that one as well. So some troops may have four numbers and some troops may have three. All right, and next we have the junior insignia tab, which is green, and it will go on the left shoulder of the vest. If you choose to wear the sash, it will just be pinned uh, on the shirt that you're wearing underneath your sash. And then on your insignia tab, you will have the World Association pin that all Girl Scouts wear. And then you will choose between the traditional membership pin and the contemporary membership pin. They both mean the same thing, but one was just redesigned at a later date. So you'll choose between one of those and put that on your insignia tab. So that's everything that you need on her vest to start. But if you want to upgrade your daughter's vest or sash to a My Girl Scout kit, all you have to do is have your purchase at $60. And here's a few things that can help you do that. You can buy our Junior Girl's Guide to Girl Scouting. You could do the My Girl Scout memory book where your junior will uh, record her progress in badge earning, as well as the memories from her troop meetings. We've got various clothing items like socks. We have polos and t-shirts and we have scarves and slides that your daughter can wear and that can bring your purchase up to the $60 limit or minimum, I should say. And once you reach that, you will have the choice of a free bag. You can choose between the pink and the blue. And so that is everything that you need to get your junior started in Girl Scouts. Um, if you would like to make an order with us, you can email us at gsstore at gswcf.org or you can order online. Make sure you check our website for store hours and any store updates that you need to know. I hope you learned a lot and have fun in juniors.